Hi everybody! I am recording this meditation for you from the beach, so I hope that um, it is on the relaxing side more than on the distracting side. Um, there may be people or other background noises that come into the video, so I apologize for that, but hope that you enjoy a change of scenery. Um, so we'll begin the meditation and it will be very much like others. Um, I will have the camera pointed to the, to the ocean instead of on my face, um, but you will hear my voice. And we will um, begin by just taking a look around and just beginning to situate yourself in time and place noting where you are in the room or car or if you're outdoors and just taking a few moments to notice any colors or shapes that you're aware of how the air feels what the temperature's like around you if there's other people in the vicinity what other sounds you hear either nearby or distant if you smell anything. And when you're ready, you can begin to settle in. And just let yourself begin to relax. You can gently close your eyes or leave them open if you'd like. Just begin to draw your attention inward. This is a very special moment in time. It's Rosh Chodesh Elul, very beginning of the month of Elul, which is a time in our calendar that's dedicated to introspection, reflection, and to some deep inner work on our souls. And for tonight's meditation, I invite you to begin to welcome in this month and the energy that comes with this month in preparation leading up to the high holidays. But for now, just begin by taking some nice deep breaths. Letting your thoughts begin to settle and slow down. Maybe letting your breathing slow. Just becoming aware of anything, any thoughts that are still floating in your mind. Any feelings you're aware of and any sensations in your body. Just taking a quick look how you're entering into this meditation at the end of the week. And not just entering the month of Elul, but also entering into Shabbat. Continuing to notice your breath. And taking some nice, deep, rich inhales. And maybe sighing out your exhales. Feeling all that oxygen. Fill all your cells, bringing in nutrients to your blood, to every organ. And exhaling out the carbon dioxide, removing anything unnecessary, any toxins any waste, 
Just letting that out. Letting the body do this, very important work. Just naturally on its own. Noticing the nature of your breath. If you're tending to breathe with your nose or your mouth, if you feel your lungs fill, if you feel your diaphragm moving, Notice if the breath feels warm or cool or any other temperature. Noticing the rhythm of your breathing. Notice if it feels even or erratic. If you're aware of smoothness or any jaggedness and no need to adjust or change or fix anything just letting it be as it is and perhaps as you inhale at the outset of this month you might want to bring something in on your inhalation maybe some energy for the month maybe an intention if you choose maybe a word that might bring you some comfort that you could reflect on throughout the month. Maybe a person, either living or past, to accompany you on your a little journey. There's something to have in the back of your mind throughout the month or in the front of your mind, if you choose. Sometimes the work of introspection can be difficult and it might help to have some assistance. So I invite you to bring in something you find will be useful for you. Again, whether it's the idea of a person or a concept, a word, maybe an object or symbol. Anything that might resonate for you. So you're not alone doing this deep work whenever you choose to do it during the month. If at all. Just take a few moments and breathe that in. You might test out a few different things. It doesn't have to be just one. Something that helps you feel strong and safe, grounded, some kind of sounding board or partner. Knowing that Jews all over the world are also beginning this process the beginning of this very holy new month. A whole month to look back on the year.
looking for what worked well, maybe what didn't work so well. Maybe taking a moment now just to gaze back. Just noting any highlights, things that you appreciate from the past year. Moments you're proud of or things that brought you joy. Perhaps some peaceful, happy times. And times where you felt a sense of accomplishment, either spiritually, emotionally, or in the day to day of your lives. Perhaps some good times with other people. And also maybe noticing times that weren't so great. Just acknowledging what happened. What were moments that were hard for you? As you consider those moments, doing so with a heart full of compassion, and maybe forgiveness, acceptance, if it's possible. Knowing that this is just the beginning of the month, just a beginning of gazing back, and also looking ahead, allowing yourself to dream maybe, dream about the coming year, what would be your best case scenario for this coming year? if you had no obstacles. Allowing yourself no restrictions. And visualizing maybe a giant cosmic wish list if everything were to be perfect. What would that look like? What would change? What would be new or different? Or what would be the same? What would you like to continue? Taking a few moments, looking ahead. Perhaps personal changes you'd like to make. Maybe some inner work, maybe some outer work. Perhaps some reconciliation with someone you have a conflict with. Maybe even just some slight change or improvement in any aspect of your life going forward. Of course, knowing some things are in our control and some things aren't in our control. But allowing yourself some moments, again, without any conditions, just to imagine and dream about the best case scenarios.
In a moment, we'll do a head to toe body scan. And as we do, ping, ping, extra attention this time to the sensations in your body as we enter this month and begin to consider our lives in the greater context. Both looking backwards and looking ahead. Really giving some attention deep into your body. Body which holds a lot of wisdom, historical knowledge and muscle memory of events that have happened. Sometimes even when we don't remember, our body is keeping track. Sometimes intuition can be centered in the body, in the cells. Just noticing anything that comes up without judgment. Just taking note. Beginning with the top of the head. The hair. Skull. Forehead. And temples. Eyebrows and the space between them. Your eyelids. Eyelashes. Your eyes. Underneath your eyes. And your nose. Nostrils. Perhaps noticing any air that you're breathing through your nose. Noticing your cheeks, cheekbones, your ears, jawbone, chin, your lips and your mouth. your teeth and your gums, your tongue, your throat. All the muscles of your face. Just remaining here an extra moment. Noticing anything that comes up. Noticing the back of your head. Inside your head. The top of your spine. And your neck. All sides of your neck. Front and back, right and left and noticing where your neck connects to the rest of your body. Your shoulders and all the muscles, tops of your shoulders, collarbone, your breastbone, shoulder blades and the top of your back and both of your arms from the shoulders to the fingertips shoulders and upper arms elbows and forearms wrists hands tops of your hands and the palms of your hands and all your fingers and your thumbs. Pausing here again, noticing your arms, especially any energy you're aware of feeling in your hands.
or any flow of energy in the length of your arms. Moving back up to your upper back, the upper and middle part of your spine, your rib cage, your lungs, your chest and your heart, solar plexus. Pausing again here and noticing your breath. Notice if it feels any different than last time you checked in on it. Just taking a few nice deep breaths. listening for any signals your body is giving you at this moment. Noticing any shapes or colors, images, phrases or words, concepts. Not judging anything, just accepting whatever your body has to offer you in its wisdom. Whether sensations are pleasant or unpleasant, any areas of relaxation or tension, just listening and noting. And moving on to your abdomen and your stomach area your sides and the middle to lower section of your spine and back. I'm just seeing your lower back, your hips and your pelvic area. I'm noticing your sits bones and noticing each leg from your hips to your toes. Hips, thighs and hamstrings, quads, front and backs of your knees, shins and calves, your ankles, heels, tendons of your feet, tops and bottoms of your feet all your toes. <clears throat> and pausing again here and noticing the length of your legs and any flow of energy you're aware of. Noticing maybe especially the bottoms of your feet. Taking a moment now, on your own, going back over anything I may have missed or anything you feel needs a little extra attention. And again, noting what wisdom your body might have to offer at this moment, on the brink of the month of Elul, this time of introspection and looking inward reviewing the year that's passed and looking ahead to the year to come. Doing some Heshbon HaNefesh, accounting of the soul, and the body is the container for the soul, for the Neshama, your own special, unique Neshama in this world to do its own unique job unique to you 
Maybe asking the body for advice, for guidance. How can it support your neshama this coming year to do its holy work in the world? And again, inviting in on your inhalation any thoughts or images, or companion, or concept that can help you in this work. I'm taking a moment and notice if anything new comes up when you invite in that energy of partnership to help you throughout the month. Notice if there's anything new or anything that's shifted. And just take some nice deep breaths. Taking a global view of your body at this moment. being open to what it has to offer and what might come in through your inhale to help you through the month. a few moments we'll begin transitioning back to the current moment begin to enter into Shabbat so in addition to thinking about the month ahead thinking just for a moment about this coming Shabbat and what you might like to get out of this this Shabbat Taking some nice deep breaths. Another moment to fill your lungs with oxygen, letting the blood take that oxygen all over the body, feeling nurtured, feeling held, safe and protected, and energized. Perhaps sighing out the carbon dioxide, letting go of anything that's unnecessary, all the toxins and waste carried from your blood back through the lungs and out through your exhalation. I'll begin to sing a nigun, Elohai Nishama. And you can sing along with me, or just listen and begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, stretching and rolling anything that needs to be stretched or rolled or wiggled. Elohai Nishama Shana Tata Bi Tehorahi Elohai Nishama Shana Tata Bi Tehorahi Elohai Nishama Shana Tata Bi Teho Teho 
Shabbat Shalom, everybody. I hope that, um, I hope again that the beach scene was supportive and not distracting. And I will see you um, back <laughs> live next week um, for our final session of the summer. So I wish you all a very good Shabbos and a really lovely and caring beginning of the month of Elul. Take care. Bye-bye.